Hey folks, Ben from Smoking Hot Confessions here. Only slightly melted now that I'm standing in the shade. I'm starting to re-solidify now. I'm cooling down a bit. It has been a crackerjack of a blazing hot day here. And we've got a whole bunch of smokers here cooking barbecue on Australia Day. It has just been beautiful. Pitmaster Mike, how are you feeling at the end of the day? Ben, mate, I am pretty tired. It has been a hot day. It's been the hottest comp we've ever competed in. We've made a rule up until now not to do a comps in January. I know why, but mate, it's Australia <laughs> Day. So yeah, no, it's, it's been good. Um, Harvey Bay obviously has turned the weather on, turned the temperature up, but um, mate, four categories, hour apart, it hasn't been too hectic. Uh, we've kept well hydrated. We mostly got decent amounts of sleep last night. So I think we've come out fairly well unscathed. It's and, amazingly, it, it, it's amazing just how important that little bit of sleep actually is, just what that kind of difference can make. We're, yeah, we're, we're trying it as a new technique this year, like actually trying to get sleep. So we'll see how it goes. I think, I think it's probably like one of those things that the top teams probably do better than, than you know, the rest of us. So I'm trying to take a leaf out of their book and you know, actually get sleep at pumps. Yeah. For, you know, something different. Yeah, right. So speaking of, the, of, of last year and how you've been doing things, yeah. Tell me about last year. It, I understand it's been quite a bit of a big year for you. You got to, got a couple of bits of exciting news to share. Uh, mate, well, last year was, I guess, yeah, our second full year on the circuit. We did uh, six comps in total, which is our, our most, uh, four ABA, and we did two comps with the, the National Grilling Network, who are a new, a new mob on the scene, um, who have started up. We've done their first two comps. Uh, Regatta last year and um, Springfield, and, I think. And Springfield, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we've, we've you know supported them and and you know been been on board with their vision to, to start, I guess, another alternative for, for barbecue comps. Uh, I think they're trying to lower the barrier to entry by putting on comps where where meat is included in the entry price. Um, up till now, I don't know how long they'll they'll keep that uh, model going, but uh, mate, it's been it's been good. It's been good to have a another option out there for, for teams. Um, so far they've been local to us, which is always good. Um, <laughs> and yeah, look mate, I love cooking. I cook most weekends anyway, so yeah, happy to do another comp. Uh, yeah, so this year mate, uh, we've got some new sponsors on board, which obviously excited about, but also, you know, ups the pressure a little bit. We've got that little bit more expectation on us. A little bit more us. obligation. A little, little bit more, more obligation, yeah. yeah. It's not just, not just about having fun and, and, and drinking a lot, it's yeah. Now now there's a few more people to uh, you know you know I guess carry their expectation as well. So yeah, we've got um, Clean Heat actually have, have come on board with us this year uh, as charcoal sponsor. And and as you know, uh, Abel is a, an amazing supporter of, of low and slow barbecue He's in Australia. He's a huge supporter of the scene. Yeah, he is, mate. So we're stoked to have Clean Heat on board. Um, I've been cooking with his charcoal at home. Love it. Uh, we use it to to fire our pits. Obviously our, our Weber Smoky Mountain runs on, on clean heat. Our, uh, I use it to fire up the, the hog pit trailer. Um, so yeah, uh, and I guess that probably bleeds into, I guess the other partnership we've, we've struck up in the last few months, uh, hog pit smokers, uh, Jamie nice. McNally, uh, who I know you know, uh, made of, I've actually recently personally acquired um, Model 001, I guess. Of, nice! Of the smokers, prototype, the, the prototype. 001. Yeah, yeah, his first his first trailer that he built originally for himself. Uh, I think I think it was a freestanding model originally. He then put it on a trailer. Mate, it's been around. I think um, I think uh, Dr. Q used it in Brisbane two years ago, and I think they came either reserve grand champion or, or third overall in that comp that year. They were next to us. I remember, so I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Linda Zamet was was there. She flew up. Was yep. was flying up to, to manage the pit because she had a, a hog pit trailer at the time as well. Uh, mate, Jamie's pits are uh, fantastic. Like the build quality is second to none, I think, in terms of domestic made pits in Australia at the moment. Um, the, the support from Jamie himself is, is fantastic, so I'm happy to support him. I'm happy to, you know, I want to see his business grow um, to be as much as it can be. Um, Steve uh, from Ironwood Smokers, my teammate, is currently waiting on delivery of his new pit, which is a 30-inch uh, trailer. I've heard that's going to be it's a pretty all, special all, custom all unit. All the bells and whistles. So it's got, you know, Jamie loves to throw, I think, you know, extra features, so stainless steel, uh, you know, grill grates, 
Um, insulated firebox, obviously, which I love the insulated firebox on my model. It's, it is a game changer. It, it definitely, um, you know, helps uh, up the game and, and gives you gives you more options. Uh, mate, I can go from 250 to 350 in about 15 minutes in that wow. pit just by loading up that firebox and, and cranking the fire. Um, so I can go from cooking brisket uh, and then take the brisket off and have chicken wings, uh, the smoker loaded with chicken nice. wings in, in, within nice. half an hour. Um, so it's it's pretty awesome. Um, uh, Jackalope uh, Trading or Jackalope Slow Foods have come on board with us as our rub sponsor this year. So really stoked those guys are local to us in Brisbane, um, Todd and Ben. Um, yeah, they're, they're local guys. They've been in the scene for a while, uh, sort of, you know, making rubs and, and just sort of, yeah, uh, and, and their, their product is, is good quality. So stoked to have them on board, uh, obviously, you know, and obviously we're carrying over Ironwood Smokers and, and Two Butchers. Uh, from last year, so yeah, mate, it's mate. I'm so happy for you because I know that you guys have been on the scene for a while. You've been going oh, to comps around while. and around and around. You know, yeah. you've 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 jumped on the show a couple of times yeah. now, and yeah. it's it's I really great that. to see you starting to reap those rewards of that hard work hopefully, you've been doing. Hopefully, man. Hopefully, yeah. Oh, look, I, I think you know it's we, we've done it long enough now. It's our third year. It's to that point now where we, you know, should be able to cook all right so yeah you know, yeah i like to i like to think we you know we come across like we know what we're doing so yeah, hopefully we could you know get some good results mate we got i think three call-ups out of six comps last year so that's not bad that's very um, good so yeah yeah hoping to you know maybe do a bit better this year uh, i think we we just got nudged out of the the aba top 50 uh last year so finished 53rd i think uh, from memory uh, but mate that that top 50 is just like a who's who of of amazing barbecue team so mate just just stoked to even be that close to the top 50 no at doubt the end of mate the year. so yeah mate um looking forward to another year i think we're committed so far for at least four more comps after this one probably do you know at least six uh again uh we all work full time so it's tough uh it's expensive there's uh, only so much annual leave to go around i know i know that's <laughs> tough as well uh and you know even when you're on annual leave there's no one to do your work for you so but yeah, mate, no, good, good to see you again. Good to chat with you. Loving the podcast, by the way. I'll just Thank you. Throw that in Thank there. Thank you. I uh, appreciate I'm that. Still, have, still haven't caught up with the later season, but I'm still still plugging away, <laughs> listening to it in the car on my, on my way to work. So, mate, yeah, it's uh, it's good. Good to talk to you again. Well, thank you very much, mate. Thank no you worries, for your man. time. Cheers. Your teammates are all packing up here behind us, so I'm going to jump out of your way and I'm going to yeah. let you go home. Oh, yeah, no, we'll let them go. <laughs> yeah, they, Cheers, they've got mate. it under control. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, Ben. See you, mate.